Hey guys, what's up? This is Joe, the morning coffee. Sorry, messing around with my uh, new mic, right? So uh, the first thing that I did was basically I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh yeah! All right, so that's basically the audio from my mic. I was exaggerating, right? So I was like, you know, putting my mouth right up against the mic just to get that sexy voice, which uh, oh, I don't mind, right? But it's kind of hard to like remember to like talk like this most of the time. So that's the audio from my new mic. This is from my old mic. You know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever, is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. All right, so you can hear the difference, right? Uh, the, probably the main thing that I like about this new mic now is that there's it has more bass, right, and all this stuff. The other thing I guess I learned to appreciate about the audio that comes out of this mic is that it's more clean. Uh, um, I was messing around with this uh, yesterday of me making this video, and basically the thing I found is this. So this is my audio track mixer, right? As you can see, I got two separate audio tracks. That way I'm able to add uh, filters to each one of these uh, individually, right? Now, what I usually do is basically when I'm cleaning up audio, I start off with a, uh, I start off with a parametric equalizer. I'll make sure I add it to my second audio track, my EQ parametric equalizer. Now, by default, they don't do anything, right? As they should. This is for my new mic. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh yeah. A few things, like uh, I noticed there's there's more bass here, right? And like around the 100 hertz area, which sounds good. If we hop over to our uh, our old mic. This is from like the lavalier. You know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing. Now, as you can see here, like oh, the waveform shifts from like the 100 hertz area more towards like the middle, right? So it has less bass, right? Editing or whatever is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. You know, when you're editing, see, so, yeah, there's more information here in the middle, right? So a bit of a difference. And you can see the low end here, like there's less frequencies, right? If we compare that to the new mic, I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh, yeah. See, there you can see there's more uh, base of frequencies like that we're able to work with. So, you know, it's good. It's more lower end information that we can work with. Um, another thing I learned to appreciate about this uh, audio from the mic is basically this. Usually what I do is when you click on one of these edit points and you pull it up, you create what is referred to as a bell, I believe, right? And this is pretty much what you're doing. It's like you're isolating or you're increasing more frequencies on the um, audio spectrum here, right? So right now I'm just increasing it from right here at the 3K hertz. Wish every one of you a happy morning. All right, so that's pretty harsh, right? But what I do is I reduce the size of the bell. I usually select, I don't know, just 50. Let's do 40, actually. So what I'm doing is I have a very narrow bell here. And what I'm doing is like I'm trying to find like a nasty frequencies, right? Usually what I'm looking for is like uh, nasty hisses or whistles, right? So if I was to scroll through this really quickly. Oh, yeah. Okay, you hear that whistle? I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's usually some bad frequencies around the 4K hertz area. That's uh, usually common, right? If I scroll through the entirety of my audio spectrum here. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh, yeah. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's another area where there's kind of a high pitch area. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. I guess that counts around the 1K area. Morning. Oh, yeah. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. All right, got the 400 hertz area. Oh, yeah. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. All right, so there's like maybe four areas I found that has that nasty hiss, right? So usually what I do is when I find a, uh, an area that has that high uh, nasty frequencies. Happy morning. Oh, yeah. I just want to wish every one of you a happy It's like that whistle. Usually once I find it, I just like reduce it down to like negative three, right? So basically it kind of like cuts it out. Just something that uh, to help reduce any nasty frequencies because um, it could feel uncomfortable after a while when you're uh, listening to your video, right? Now, if we jump over to the lavalier mic and I do the same thing, I create a bell and I narrow it down. And if I kind of scroll around here, you'll hear the difference. 
you know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever, is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. You know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever, is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. You know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever, is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. So basically, what I'm showing you is that like uh, with my lavalier mic, there's more of that nasty frequencies uh, that exist in my audio, right? And that's the thing that I guess I was like, whoa, all right, cool. I learned to appreciate the audio from this mic a bit more. It's a lot cleaner, right? There's a lot less harshness coming through this uh, mic, which is great. Uh, with my lavalier mic, I had to like cut out a lot of frequencies because it was kind of nasty, right? You get those nasty frequencies. And the reason why you want to cut out those frequencies is because they can cause, uh, what, I guess, hearing fatigue is what it's referred to as, you know? It might not seem like it, but those frequencies, after a while, they do like make it uncomfortable for your hearing, especially when you have headphones, right? So cutting out those nasty frequencies, it makes the audio more pleasant to hear. Uh, another thing that I recently started doing, once I'm done finding like uh, the nasty frequencies, uh, for example, you know, when you're editing or if you want to get into it. Uh, let's say that, you know, that whistle. All right, I find it, then I just reduce it to negative three, you know, that way it reduces it a bit. I started adding a new uh, parametric equalizer. All right, so I added a second parametric equalizer, right? The first one is to find like the nasty frequencies like I just showed you, right? By using a narrow bell. Um, I'm gonna use another parametric equalizer. And with this one, what I'm gonna do is basically, um, I'm gonna reduce uh, harshness. And this is something I recently started doing uh, that I just learned. So I'm still on my lavalier mic. So if I grab like one of the edit points here from my parametric equalizer, and if I increase it and I hit play, editing or whatever is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. You know, when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever. Oh, I'm only breaking my rules. Always add a hard limiter and make sure you put it to your desired uh, limit point, which is for me is always negative four. Yeah, because uh, something like that, it can actually hurt your hearing, especially when you're editing. So make sure you add a limiter first. So anyways, go back to my uh, lavalier mic. It's basically, you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. Yep. All right, so right here, it sounds pretty harsh, right? It just, you can hear like that, almost almost like an attack in the ears. If basically, you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform. You know, when you're editing. All right, so it's like when you're editing, you know, it sounds pretty harsh. So I can actually reduce this or if you want to get into editing or whatever is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform you know when you're editing or if you want to get into editing or whatever is basically you kind of have to learn to uh, read the audio waveform you know when you're editing or if you want to get into it so basically what i did here is i reduced that like uh area of the lavalier mic where there's like a bit of harshness so when i'm speaking it almost feels like it's an attack on the ear right and that's something that i recently started doing that way like the audio sounds more uh smooth and more pleasing to hear right or else like it it can sound too harsh you know it becomes like uh un uncomfortable to hear right if i do the same thing over to my new mic i'm grabbing the same edit point i just want to wish every one of you a happy morning oh yeah i just want to wish everyone all right so it's more around the same area but it's not that bad one of you a happy morning oh yeah i just want to wish every one of you a happy morning oh yeah and the cool thing is because I have more like uh, low end information, I'm able to like control it better. So I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh yeah. I just want to wish every one of you a happy morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, I want to keep the video super short, but uh, yeah, that's actually kind of like the main thing about this audio is that like the mic, the audio that comes out from a new mic, it's very clean. And you have more uh, information, especially in the low end, so you can control it more if you want to add more bass or whatever. That way, if you want the sexy voice, you're able to do that. You know, that kind of shit. <laughs> but uh, so far, yeah, I'm very happy with this mic and like I'm happy with the results of it, right? As you can see, you know, like the audio is very clean. It's a lot uh, easier to work with, in my opinion, right? I'm happy with this purchase. Um, again, if you don't know what the mic is, it's the, the Pseudotech ST800. It's the condenser mic kit. Yeah, it comes with, you know, the condenser mic, the, the holder, the arm, and uh, this pop filter, and also, like, the wind uh, blocker, you know, it's it's, uh, it's for, like, $60 on uh, Amazon. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good mic, right? Yeah, like I said, I'm happy with it, so I'll put a link in the description. You guys can check it out, so. So, yeah, that's all I got for you. If uh, the video helps you out, if you find it informative, you know, there'll be a link in my description for uh, my PayPal link if you guys want to hook it up with the coffee, right? You know, I'll appreciate uh, any help like that. I mean, either way, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing because uh, I like sharing what I know. So, uh, yeah, 
that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. I take care and peace.